Armenia Bielfeld have gone out and signed another German midfielder, bringing in former Stuttgart midfielder Gonzalo Castro. He will be signing on a free transfer until the end of the season. And for me, this is a fantastic deal for the likes of Armenia Bielfeld. Because you cannot go wrong with a deal like this. Of course, Bielfeld need depth in the heart of midfield, need depth probably in a lot of positions. But you look at where they are right now in the league, not in a healthy position, sitting in 17th, of course, relegation in the Bundesliga. And really, they are not far away from being saved. They are three points away from being clear, and they could just keep going and going to run. Bielfeld are not in a dangerous position at the moment in time. They're easily able to work themselves out of that dangerous spot. But Gonzalo Castro will be coming in to bring in some more midfield depth. I could see him starting some games. They do have a decent midfield likes of Alessandro Schopf and some other great players and around there likes of uh, Edmilson uh, Fernandez as well. And you just have some young younger uh, midfielders. And I think Gonzalo Castro brings you some solid solidity and some leadership, some winning experience and some Bundesliga experience. Because like I say, look, you got a Paderborn midfielder, you got a former uh, Schalke midfielder, and you just need a guy like Gonzalo Castro to come in and bring in some winning mentality, bring in some experience in the Bundesliga. If you look at his career, many years, at, uh, he had three or four years at Dortmund, and he is well known for his time at Lever Bayern Leverkusen when he started there at the age of 17 and left at the age of 27, having 10 years at Bayern Leverkusen and then leaving at the age of 28 and playing three years at Dortmund and then having three years at Stuttgart to now move on and sign for Armenia Bielfeld. I think this is a great deal for the likes of of Gonzalo Castro, who is an amazing passer of the ball, who is great at clearing the ball, can can come back and help. He can play anywhere in the midfield, really, if you guys want to look at it. He can play, def he's more so known for his defensive midfielding works or his central midfield. He can play at the attacking midfielder role at the 10. Also can play out wide. He's very versatile in the middle. At the age of 34, I think he's a fantastic signing for likes of Armenia Bielfeld. Bring him in on a free only until the end of uh, the season. You can't go wrong with that. Bringing in a German uh, previous international, a guy who has been at some very top sides, like I said, Leverkusen, uh, Dortmund. He's been there. He's done that. He's played for the top sides in the Bundesliga. He'll bring in a heavy amount of winning experience and a heavy amount of leadership to a younger midfielder uh, setup and a team that could use him in the base of midfield. And he will be the only 30-year-old midfielder in the side besides Prieto, the Austrian. So I think this is a great move and you can't go wrong. It'll be interesting to see what he can do with Armenia Bielfeld. So guys, make sure to let me know what you guys think down below. Will Gonzalo Castro be a boom or will he be a bust? Let me know what you guys think down below about the transfer for Armenia Bielfeld signing Gonzalo Castro this off uh, this coming window. And he will be there until the end of the season. Drop a like down below, guys. Drop a comment. It means the absolute world to me. And let me know what you guys think down below. And I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace.